Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm Pastor Michelle Allen from First Presbyterian Church here in Williamstown, New Jersey. And it's good to be with you again as we close out this week of devotional and prayer. This week, if you look back, we've been um, considering the many resources that we have that help us to express our devotion to God. Um, whether it's music <clears throat> and artists who have prepared and uh, written music or created music to the many biblical resources that are available to us, even commentaries that uh, help us to perhaps gain a better understanding of uh, what the Bible is saying. Today, I wanted to share a resource that is particular to us as Presbyterians, <clears throat> but that anybody can use. And it is, um, I know there are many different covers on these, so I just share with you the one that I have. It's called Daily Prayer. Um, if you read the intro to this book, it's a great thing because the author, in writing this, uh, shares that, you know, for some people, uh, it, prayer is a tough thing to do every day. And, uh, and yet the Lord says, uh, the Bible says, pray without ceasing. So imagine how often that is. So, uh, but at least daily to have prayer time with God. Uh, in fact, I, I always recommend in our new members class to have time in the morning with God in prayer and then time in the evening before you go to bed because... Uh, by the time you've reached the end of the day, there's a lot to reflect on. Uh, your morning prayer would be very different from your evening prayer. Uh, your evening prayer may have a lot of reflections uh, that are included in it. Your morning prayer may have more, um, maybe a shorter prayer, and it may be more of an intercessory kind of prayer. Uh, maybe more of a, a joyful prayer of thanksgiving as well. So many, many ways in which uh, to pray to God and to spend time with him. I think of the Great Commission in Matthew 28, the very end of the gospel, where Jesus says, the Great Commission, go therefore and make disciples of all nations. But then he has that wonderful phrase at the end that says, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Every Christian needs to hear that from time to time, be reminded that we're not alone, that God is with us, uh, that Jesus is with us, uh, even to the end. And one of the ways to celebrate that and to live that out, believing that he truly is with us always, is to have that daily prayer time with him. Because prayer is spending time with the Lord. Now this resource here, uh, anybody can get it. Again, it's a Presbyterian publication, publication. But it's a wonderful thing because the author also realized, the authors realized that, you know, there are some days where we're, we're hurried, you know, things come up or maybe we've got an extraordinarily busy day um, and we can't spend as much time in prayer. On other days, uh, it may be an average day. Other days, we may have extra time and we want to spend a little bit more time in prayer with God. So this has the three different outlines that you can use. You want a day when you need a quickie, uh, the middle of the day where, the middle of a kind of a day where, you know, you got your average amount of time and then those days where you got a little extra time. So there's an abbreviated order, a basic order, and an expanded order. What it includes are things like this. Opening sentences. What is that? Opening sentences of scripture. So someone has compiled some words of scripture that you get to read for that day. Then there's a psalm and a psalm prayer. So they pick a portion of the psalms, and this is primarily based on the psalms. Then they include a time for silence. You know, it, it's funny how we have to schedule a time for silence <laughs> because we schedule so much busyness that we don't, we got to make sure we schedule some silence in because we're not good at that. Remember devotional last week, you know, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Silence is important. Prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. There you go. The Lord's prayer, of course, and then the dismissal, uh, a blessing of, of scripture. That is the abbreviated order of daily prayer, okay? Now, you, you know, this makes me think of, um, you know, if you're familiar with priests or monks or convents of nuns, they have their prayer times, don't they? They have different times of the day when they pray. You know, a lot of people think, oh, look at the Muslims. I mean, they have their, their prayer uh, um, rug, and, and they know certain times of day they go to pray. Well, listen, that's not all that new. It's not all that different or unique. It's just that a lot of Christians don't do it for themselves. But we have parts of the body of Christ that do that every day. They get up in the dark. They get up at, at midnight sometimes. Um, 
but early morning, and there's certain names for them, the Vespers, the Complines, they all have different names, those prayers, and it's times when uh, they get together and they pray. So uh, this is not a new thing. People used to um, spend different times of their day in prayer with God uh, because it was part of their Christian living. We've lost a lot of that, unfortunately, and relegated it to the nuns and the priests and the monks, but it's really meant to be for all of us Christians. Anyway, so that was the abbreviated order. The basic order, this would be for your common every day. I got the same amount of time as I wanted to put aside for my daily prayer. You have your opening sentences and your morning psalm or morning hymn. So they even give you that. Your psalm and prayer, your scripture reading. Then your silence and another song, a biblical song. Then your prayers of thanksgiving and intercession and Lord's Prayer and your dismissal. So you can see it's a little more expanded because that's your your that's your steady. That's the one you go to, if you will. Then there's the expanded order. This is for a day when you have a little more time. You still have your opening sentences. You have your morning psalm or morning hymn. You have your psalm and prayer. You have your scripture reading, and then you have a little bit of interpretation. So there's a little expansion on, on the word there for you. You still have your silence, your biblical song, your prayers of thanksgiving and intercession, your Lord's Prayer, and then you stick in a hymn or a spiritual, and then you have your dismissal. So it's a little more uh, expanded time with God. But it's wonderful because what happens there is your Sunday worship, which is very expanded time of prayer and reading of scripture and uh, singing praise to God, uh, that becomes more and more a part of your every day. So worship is not something you just do on Sundays. It's uh, your prayer, your scripture reading, and uh, your, even your singing to God. It's all included in these, these daily prayer times uh, that become a part of your life. So Sunday just becomes an expanded form of that, uh, a corporate form of that oftentimes. So um, something to think about, you know, and, and what does my prayer life look like? Uh, do I have a devoted time for it so that I don't lose that time that is meant for prayer uh, to the busyness of life because it easily is lost. Um, and uh, we need prayer just as much as we need to have that presence of Jesus with us that he said will be with us always uh, to acknowledge that and to say, yeah, Lord, I know you're with me and let me spend some time with you just as eagerly as I want to spend time at work or with my family or with my friends. So, um, if you're looking for time to carve out, you may have to give some things up to have that time with the Lord, but it's worth every bit of it. So let's pray. Lord, I think especially of new Christians who are learning for the first time what it means to live the life of a disciple of yours and how important that time of prayer and scripture and worship is with you. I think of Christians who have been Christians for a long time who have lost sight of the fact and have lost touch with you and have uh, meandered into other uh, occupations of time and want to get back to that time with you that's so special and so meaningful. Uh, Lord, I pray for all people uh, that they may know your words and truly what that means when you say, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. Uh, help us each to make that time for you. That is the most important time that we have every day in our lives. And help us to make that a time for us individually, a time for our family together, uh, not just on Sundays, uh, but that is there for us every single day just as you are. Help us to see you as waiting for us to have that time with you. In your precious name we pray. Amen. May God bless you this week now, and may you have a very fruitful and blessed time of worship this coming Sunday, and uh, may you continue to live in the word of Jesus Christ. God bless you.